Hi, this is Andy, KE4GKP, and welcome back to the Ham Whisperer and lesson 22 in the Technician Operator Element 2 exam preparation course. In this lesson, we're going to cover the T6D questions, which goes over component functions. All right, let's get started. Which of the following devices or circuits changes an alternating current into a varying direct current signal? All right, so a rectifier does this, and what you're looking for here is turning an alternating current, so current which goes back and forth in two different directions, into a varying direct current, which means current that goes only in one direction, and that's a rectifier. And if you can remember the diodes, which only allow current in one direction, are sometimes called rectifiers for this very reason. If you can remember that, you'll get this question right. What best describes a relay? Well, a relay is a switch controlled by an electromagnet. And if you can picture in your head a piece of metal with two electromagnets on either side, to turn a switch on, what you would do is you would turn on one of the electromagnets, and that piece of metal will get pulled over towards that electromagnet. And if there is current, if that piece of metal is part of a circuit and there's current running through it, you will complete the circuit and you will turn on whatever, lights or whatever you need to get turned on. Now, if you want to turn it off, what you would do is you would turn off that electromagnet and turn on the opposite one, and the piece of metal would swing back either opening the circuit or, or shorting the circuit or starting another circuit to turn it on. So just remember, a relay is a switch controlled by an electromagnet. What type of switch is represented by item 3 in figure T2? Well, if you look at uh, item 3, what it is is a single pull, single throw switch. Um, there are many different types of switches, and some have more than just an on and off position, and uh, some can go in, in multiple directions. But for this one, all it does is simply turn something on or turns it off. So it's a single pull, single throw switch. Which of the following can be used to display signal strength on a numeric scale? And you don't want to overthink this one. The answer is very simple. This is a meter. Now, voltmeters, ammeters, etc., all take these signals. And whether they need a needle or a digital display, turn those signals into a number on a display. So just remember, a meter can be used to display signal strength on a numeric scale. What type of circuit controls the amount of voltage from a power supply? Now, this is a regulator. And the key word in this question that you're looking for is the word controls. So a regulator regulates or controls voltage from a power supply. It's also the answer that makes the most sense on the exam. So just remember, a regula regulator controls the amount of voltage from a power supply. What component is commonly used to change 120 volt AC house current to a lower AC voltage for other uses? Now this should be reviewed. This is a transformer, and we talked about this in the last lesson. And a transformer can transform voltage from a higher to a lower voltage in an AC circuit. And the key word in this question is change. So change or transform, and that should make sense. So a transformer can change 120 volt AC to a lower AC for other uses. Which of the following is commonly used as a visual indicator? Well, an LED, or otherwise known as a light emitting diode, can be used as a visual indicator because it produces light. And the trick to this one on the exam is that you have to know what LED, the acronym LED stands for. And of all the possible answers on the exam, an LED is the only option that actually produces something visual, which is light. Which of the following is used together with an inductor to make a tuned circuit? And the answer is a capacitor, and this is a really big deal. This, this inductor-capacitor relationship is pretty much the centerpiece of all radios, receivers, and transmitters. When they work together, an inductor capacitor can shoot a current back and forth at each other like a pendulum on a clock. And you can make timer circuits, receivers, transmitters, everything that requires some sort of oscillation out of this. And they do this really, really fast. So this oscillation between this inductor and capacitor relationship is pretty much the centerpiece of uh, receiving and transmitting radio signals. What is the name of the device that combines several semiconductors and other components into one package? Now what this is, this is an integrated circuit or sometimes abbreviated IC. On the exam it's integrated circuit. And if you remember those schematic diagrams that we've seen so far with all those semiconductors, electrical components all scattered about, and what an IC does, it, it, it combines all that stuff into one neat little black rectangular uh, component that I'm sure you've seen if you ever looked at a circuit board, it's a little black piece of plastic with a whole bunch of leads coming out is what it looks like. But just remember, integrated circuit combines semiconductors and other electrical components in one package. What is the function of component 2 in figure T1? Well, if you remember from the last lesson, component 2 is a, it's a transistor. 
And you have to remember what transistors do. They control the flow of current. And that's what you're looking for for the exam. The transistor controls the flow of current. What is a simple resonant or tuned circuit? All right, the answer in the exam from the possible answers is an inductor and a capacitor connected in series or parallel to form a filter. Now, to answer this correctly, you need to be able to see all those possible answers and pick the type of circuit that is a resonant or tuned circuit. And one of the ways to help you out with that is knowing that some types of resonant or tuned circuits used as filters are referred to as LC circuits. And in LC circuits, the L represents inductance and the C represents capacitance. So a filter made with an inductor and a capacitor connected in series or parallel to form a filter is a type of resonant circuit. So when you're looking for a, a simple resonant or tuned circuit, you want to look for the capacitor and the inductor to find the correct answer. Which of the following is a common reason to use shielded wire? Well, shielded wire prevents coupling of unwanted signals to or from the wire. So if you think that shields protect things, the answer is the only one that protects or prevents something from happening. So basically what the shield is, is it's a flexible outer layer of wire, or sometimes a woven fabric of wire that surrounds an inner core. And what the shield does is prevents unwanted signals to be emitted from or received from or received into that wire. And you see this in coax and a lot of audio cables. So which of the following is a common reason to use shielded wire? Well, it's to prevent coupling of unwanted signals to or from the wire. And now it's time for the T6D quiz. Take out a pencil and paper in number 1 through 12. I'll go through the questions quickly, so if you need more time, simply pause the video. When you're done with the quiz, be sure to stop by hamwhisper.com, go to the exam answers page, and check your answers under the T6D link there. All right, good luck, and let's start with the quiz. Question one, which of the following devices or circuits changes an alternating current into a varying direct current signal? A, transformer, B, rectifier, C, amplifier, or D, reflector? Question two, what best describes a relay? A, a switch controlled by an electromagnet, B, a current controlled amplifier, C, an optical sensor, or D, a pass transistor? Question three, what type of switch is represented by item 3 in figure 2? A. A single pole, single throw. B. Single pole, double throw. C. Double pole, single throw. Or D. Double pole, double throw. Question 4. Which of the following can be used to display signal strength on a numeric scale? A. Potentiometer. B. Transistor. C. Meter. Or D. Relay. Question 5. What type of circuit controls the amount of voltage from a power supply? A. Regulator. B. Oscillator. C. Filter. Or D. Phase inverter. Question 6. What component is commonly used to change a 120 volt AC house current to a lower AC voltage for other uses? A. Variable capacitor. B. Transformer. C. Transistor. Or D. Diode. Question 7. Which of the following is commonly used as a visual indicator? A. LED. B. FET. C. Zener diode. Or D. Bipolar transistor. Question 8. Which of the following is used together with an inductor to make a tuned circuit? A. Resistor. B. Zener diode. C. Potentiometer. Or D. Capacitor. Question 9. What is the name of a device that combines several semiconductors and other components into one package? A. Transducer. B. Multipole relay. C. Integrated circuit. Or D. Transformer. Question 10. What is the function of component 2 in figure T1? A. Give off light when current flows through it. B. Supply electrical energy. C. Control the flow of current. Or D. Convert electrical energy into radio waves. Question 11. What is a simple resonant or tuned circuit? A. An inductor and a capacitor connected in series or parallel to form a filter. B. A type of voltage regulator. C. A resistor circuit used for reducing standing wave ratio. Or D. A circuit designed to provide high fidelity audio. And question 12. Which of the following is a common reason to use shielded wire? 
A, to decrease the resistance of DC power connections, B, to increase the current carrying capacity of the wire, C, to prevent coupling of unwanted signals to or from the wire, or D, to couple the wire to other signals. And that's it for Lesson 22 and the T6D section. Now that you're done with the quiz, be sure to stop by hamwhisper.com to check your answers. And until next time and Lesson 23, this is Andy, KE4GKP, saying 73, and I hope to hear you on the air soon.